When you hear the term flip-flop, what's the first thing that comes to mind? If you thought of these flip-flops, you're wrong. Because this is what they actually look like. And today, we're making one of them in Minecraft. The SR Lax with NAND gates. But before we do that, let's look at how they work. So the SR Lax has two inputs, a set and a reset, and two outputs, the Q and the Q reverse. When set is high and reset is low, Q is low and Q reverse is high. And when set is low and reset is high, Q is high and reverse Q is low. That's great and all, but you're probably wondering what happens when both of them are on. Well, it depends on what state it was in before. It basically saves the last state it was in, and that's why it's called the memory. As you can see, when Q is high and we turn on both inputs, the lamp stays on. And when both inputs are low, both outputs are high. But this is considered the invalid state according to my teacher and Google. Okay, enough explaining. Let's actually build the SR Lacks now. To start, let's make two NAND gates and attach a lamp to them. If you don't know what a NAND gate is or how to make it, you can always watch my video on logic gates. Please do it, I'm desperate for views. Make sure to have at least three blocks in between. Then connect the output of the first NAND gate to one of the inputs of the second NAND gate. And for the cherry on top, connect the output of the second NAND gate to the first one and build a bridge over the other cable. Oh yeah, don't forget to add levers to the remaining inputs of course. Now it should work exactly as I explained, but you're probably wondering how this all works. I'll go over an example step by step. Let's say the set is high and the reset is low. And we don't know which output is high because we're blind or something. We can actually use what we know about the NAND gate to figure this out. So the second step is to look at the top NAND and gate. We can see that one of the inputs is 1, which leaves us with 3 possibilities. But we have no clue what the second input is, so let's look at the other NAND gate. We can see that one of the inputs is 0, so we can eliminate this option, which leaves us with the only possible outcome being that the output is 1. And since the output of this NAND gate is connected to the input of the first one, we can now figure out the output for the top NAND gate. If we look at the truth table, we can see that it's obviously 0. Now our final step is to look at our output, and as we can see, the Q is 0 and the reverse Q is 1. So that's how you build the SR likes in Minecraft. Don't forget to set the like button so that I can finally pay my taxes.